<laughs> creepy place, a lot of dead bodies. Man, he's not dying, what's wrong with him? Seriously, the game looks very nice. Okay, come here, boys, come here. I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm just gonna shoot the heads off you. Whoa! Burning zombies! <laughs> Whoa, creepy. Whoa! Whoa! Bullet time! <laughs> that was awesome! Look at this! And I'm out of ammo! Okay, now it's time to fist some guys. <laughs> okay. Whoa! What's up guys, it's Weaviver, welcome back. Today we're gonna try out a game that I personally think deserves more attention. I'm talking about Atex Cybernetic, a game that I played back in March 2017, almost one year ago. Back then it was only a way-based shooter with one level, but I still thought it had great potential and today it has become a full game with several chapters and a story mode, even more beautiful graphics and even more creepier zombies. So I'm just gonna jump right into the game from the start and we're gonna see what it's all about again. Join me guys! Hey, wake up! Yes, you, the jerk in my head! Oh gosh, finally! Who are you and how did you get in my head? Yes, I'm talking to you! No, you can't just ignore me! You took my body! Don't believe me? Raise your hands! These are my hands, actually! Anyways, you have basic motoric skills and the ability to follow orders. Congratulations! Now get the hell out of my head! Oh, you can't. That's a shame. But, well, I might be able to use you, f What's that noise when I say your name? Now we should get out of here. Yes, you have to open the damn drawer. Well, we have to open the drawer. <laughs> I see. Well, a uh, locomotion available, right. So we can do free locomotion in this game, but we can also do teleportation. Take the damned card. Store it or just use it at the panel. Now open the door. Well, let's store it. Oh, so it's automatically activated. That's nice. Nothing in here. Well, let's go out. You've made quite a mess. What the hell are you anyway? I feel you in my head and you control my body. And what's that name? Is it a hacker name or something? Oh, we can pull objects from distance as well. That's nice. Oh, creepy place. A lot of dead bodies. The game looks nice. I don't remember the game looking so nice. Another key card. Should open up some doors and let's do some exploring. Well, last time... Oh, nice. Pistol ammo. Last time I played this game, ATEX Cybernetic, that was a long time ago and back then it was only a wave-based shooter. But now they have really made progression. And that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's go out. Wow. Really nice graphics. It's an Unreal Engine game. Around. We have to find some kind of weapon. And also, let me jump jump into the options. I'm going to show you some stuff here. We have quality options, and I'm using high, the highest level of uh, overall quality. There is also anti-aliasing. If I turn it off, you're going to see that there are a lot of jagged edges. Uh, FXAA fixes that a little bit, but I think the TAA looks best. The picture is more stable, but it's still not blurry. It's quite okay, quite okay looking actually. Also, I'm using the resolution scale in game of 1.3 or 1.299, and in Steam VR, I'm running super sampling of 1.6, so that's quite high super sampling. And I think that you need some super sampling to get the game sharp because it's oh, there's a weapon. Because this is not a Unity Engine game. Now we're talking. Cool. Oh, I can holster this one. Oh, so we have two holsters. And uh, if you're not using any super sampling, the game may look a little bit blurry. All right, so what do... Oh, there's something here. Oh, another pistol. That's cool. Give me that. <laughs> oh, the sounds are quite low. Low volume. Could be higher, I think. And uh, I, I don't feel any haptic feedback. I'm not sure if that is uh, possible while playing it on the HTC Vive. Today I'm playing it on the Oculus Rift, of course. Oh, that's some 
Oh, what is happening? There we go. That's ammunition. Awesome. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. Okay, so it says explore. Oh, we have probably some stuff to find here. Oh, nice. Two ammunition boxes. No glasses. I don't know what this is all about, because I can point at it, but I cannot do much. So, well, probably nothing. A lot of dead guys here. Let's continue. Oh, a piece of junk! Whoa! Monster, I'd be so scared. Oh man, there are a lot of them. Uh oh. Man, he's not dying! What's wrong with him? <laughs> it takes a lot of shots to kill those guys. Okay, how do I reload this thing? There we go. Okay, maybe I should learn to aim first. That was the problem. Wow. Look at this place. Seriously, the game looks very nice. As you may see, I'm getting some occasional tracking problems still. But that's not the game's fault, actually. It's, uh, well, I don't know if I really need that thing. Uh, whoa, that was some cool physics. Look at that. How did I make that spin? <laughs> Look at that. That's physics in virtual reality. I wonder if it's going to drop or fall down. All right, another pistol. We can only store two of them. Wow, that was a very cool glitch, to be honest. I just threw it away and it just started to spin. Like a never-ending never spin. Okay, so, well, the tracking issues that I got sometimes, it's because of I'm using the wireless adapter for the Oculus Rift. And with the current software, there are some tracking issues. I don't know why, but it's just not glitch-free. Yes, this is our way out have to find the thing that opens these gates okay well uh, let, let me just explore this place so it happens that I lose the tracking for like a millisecond and that's enough to get bothered uh, and frustrated and I'm working on that and I have actually improved the tracking a bit but it's still not perfect oh medical pills oh HP full so I don't need that now Investigate. Why would anything be simple? Of course it requires identification. I see. Oh, more ammo. Awesome. So I think... Oh, it's still spinning over there. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but it's still spinning. So we're going to search through that place. Okay. Well, I, 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 just, I just need to check that. Look at that. Look at that. That's pure mathematics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, who cares? It was quite funny actually. HP, we have full power, so we we have full health, I mean, so we don't need to. Whoa! Uh oh! Hey guys! Sweet vibers in the house. It's time to clean up. <laughs> the animations are very good, as you can see. Not bad at all. Oh, I cannot use that or pick that up. Seriously, there's really nothing wrong with the graphics. And the feeling is quite good as well, to be honest. I don't feel any haptic feedback in the Oh! In the weapons, and that's that's odd. I was uh, actually hoping to see that to feel the uh, haptic feedback. Maybe it's possible using the Oculus or the HTC Vive. Oh, did I just drop the weapon? There we go. Uh, but with the Oculus Rift, it's not possible. I might, there we go. You maybe saw the tracking loss I got on the weapons for just a very short millisecond. This is what's happening while using the Oculus Rift and TPCast, for me at least, for the moment. Well, I'm getting quite used to that. But yeah, it could work better. There we go. 
Nice. A lot of pistol ammo. Whoa! Man! Whoa! Okay, what is that? Burning zombies! <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, that was quite creepy. It was so fast as well. Oh man. Oh, more more shells. Oh. Trying to pick those up. Not easy. There we go. Wow, that was creepy to be honest. Okay, it's burning a lot here. Can I grip that pistol? Yeah. <laughs> Let it burn. Oh, that was my other pistol. Well, that's too far away, but I think I have three pistols already, so I should be okay. Oh, nice. We have a card here. Awesome. Let's go back. What was that sound? That, that sound... So, how did you get in my head, hmm? Good question. Yeah, keep playing the tough guy and not answering me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. Oh, I just dropped the weapon again. Who cares? So yeah, we can actually do teleportation as well by just using the right thumbstick on the touch controller. And yeah, it, it works great. We can change the direction of the teleportation also. But in this video, we're just going to do free locomotion, of course. Do I have full health? I guess so. Hmm. Oh, a radio. Well, nothing I can use at least. All right, let's see. Good job. Maybe you aren't completely useless after all. Uh, now, can you pull these levers uh, pretty, please? Of course. There we go. Well, of course it opens everything except for the gates I actually want to go through. <laughs> Damn it, look for a solution. I'm gonna try. I think we're supposed to go over there. Oh, investigate. Let's see this thing. Oh, yes. This needs another key card. Who would have thought? Oh, what a surprise. So far, this is fun. Can I open those drawers? Nope. I mean, it's not bad at all. I have probably missed some stuff I could probably pick you know, up. I'm a scientist, and thus, no matter how Whoa! Relevant, okay. Is, my brain is only uh oh. Holy! And that's me. So, okay, okay, this is not good. I, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Getting some tracking issues again. I think I'm gonna stick to one weapon for now. Come on! Uh oh! Come on! Wow, there's so many of them! Oh, well, you're welcome to Whew. stay for a little while longer. I'm a genius, not a grunt. You <laughs> might come in handy. All right, well, <laughs> that was quite creepy. So many of them at the same time. Uh oh, two more. Come on, guys. Don't make it difficult for me. Oh, yes. Ammo. I'm gonna need a lot of ammo, I guess. What's that? Nothing to collect, at least. So, I don't know if I can search the bodies. I don't think so. I can only get the stuff that are laying on the ground. Whoa! Okay. Oh, that was, that was wrong. <laughs> They're quite creepy, those guys. Come on. <laughs> I like the weapon handling, but I miss the... Well, I miss the haptic feedback or the vibration in the controllers. I have not tried it on the HTC Vive, so maybe it works better on the HTC Vive, but on the Oculus Rift, it doesn't work so well. <laughs> what a surprise, three more guys. Okay. And seriously, I gotta tell you that the free locomotion works. Oh, what is that? Can I open this thing? Nope. The free locomotion works great in this game. Nothing to complain about. 
Okay, let's see this door as well. Whoa! Nobody here! I got surprised to be honest. Can I open up this thing? Nope, it doesn't look like that. Hmm. And uh, this one is not collectible either. That was weird. Oh, there we have some ammo. And where's my gun? Oh no, I dropped my gun. That was not good. Where is it? <laughs> that was really bad of me. Okay, I need to find my second gun. Okay, I I'll stick with one gun for now. Who cares? Checkpoint, nice. More ammo. Uh, let's investigate. I wish I had some kind of... Uh, oh, health. No, that's only health. I wish I'd had a... Would you mind grabbing that flashlight? Not that I'm afraid, just better to be sure. Oh, there it is. Awesome. I was just about to say that I wish I had a flashlight and there it just pop up, pops up. Wow. What is that? There's like a steam or something coming out of this. Whoa, creepy. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't have any use for two pistols, I guess. I need to use that flashlight as well. The fuck was that? Sorry for the bad language, guys. I, I never swear. And this guy did. Did I drop the weapon now? What happened? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, sorry, I, I need to store it. There we go. Okay, so, well, let's take some time to learn this. And whoa, man, oh, I need the guns, I need the guns, where's my gun? Where's my gun? Come on, give me my gun. Whoa, I'm all, all, almost dead. Okay, that was a very bad decision. Oh, I'm recovering at least, that's good. Wow, it's a little bit difficult. Whoa, 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 more guys. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna work. Come on, come here. Why is my flashlight not working? Maybe I turned it off first. Whoa! Look at those guys! <laughs> I totally panicked. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You went right past the thing we came here There for. we go. It was in the room on oh. the left. I've seen it. Oh yeah, I see that. I see that. Uh, let me, let, give, me a, give me a second. I'm just going to store some HP here. I, th I think I saw some more here, right? Open the gate. Well, the we're gonna wait. Stuck. We're gonna wait with that. Find the solution. I I don't have full health. Come on, give me that. Nice. Now we're getting there. Awesome. So let's pick that card. Oh yes. All right. Let's just. Store yeah, it. This should do it. It's Dr. Clark's. He had access to everything. I see. Oh, a drawer. Nice. And as you, as I said before, I get some occasional tracking issues. Open gate. Yeah, let's open it. How? Oh, there we have something. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I slowed the time for you. So you Whoa. Bullet time, guys. Go, grunt. Smash. <laughs> that was awesome! Look at this! Bullet time! <laughs> that made it easier at least. Oh yes! <laughs> I feel like John Wick or something. Nice! We have a crowbar as well. Hmm! Can I store it in some way? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Oh, health. Well, I don't think we need it. We have full health. So let's see this door. I, I missed it before. Okay, let's check this. Whoa, those sounds are really terrifying. Okay, I think we touched the recharge. Well, I am full health. Let's go out of here. Okay, I'm gonna be prepared this time. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, is that thing- if I call you grunt, do you? You are a mindless beast, good for only killing these things. Also, you don't really have a word in the question, so... Grunt it is. <laughs> is that thing still spinning? I don't think so. Probably it fell. <laughs> Let's activate this thing. 
Whoa! Oh, okay, okay. Good it's time, time to run. run. Bringing an army of monsters on us. Whoa! The best thing you could have done to make Whoa, Monday man! Better. Man, they were so fast. Oh, I could actually sprint a little bit faster. That was good. Oh, <laughs> quite many of them. Okay, come here, boys. Come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna shoot the heads off you. Come on. Wow, they're just like coming in a row. Look at this. I wish I had a grenade that should just throw down. Come here, boys. Taste this. Uh, I know I'm bad at aiming. But I'm... Well, I survived that as well. What was that? Oh, that was a grenade. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a great... How could I miss that? That would help so much. Okay, I have full health, of course. So... We're gonna find a way now. We're gonna find a way out of here. Probably. Okay, let's be prepared, right? And I don't have that flashlight anymore. I dropped it somewhere in the middle of the action. But I think I... Should be able to handle it anyway it's not that dark here okay well let's let's just see i just need to see if there's anything on the other side i don't want to miss any of the fun here nope oh what is that control room open oh a network entry point i've never used these things uh, put my hands on the console to enter huh oh i dropped the weapon sorry oh checkpoint nice Network AP, right, left, okay. Whoa! What just happened? Where am I? Ho, ho, ho! So, to open the door, we have to connect the nodes to overwrite the lockdown protocols. Oh, easy, cool. Easy peasy, even for you. Just look for the colors and it'll be a piece of cake. Colors? Oh, okay, that's the blue one. All right, all right. That's the, I think it's pink or something. And green or yellow? Oh, that's the one, green. And yellow. Locking down. Oh, nice, we made it. Okay, we made it. And uh, now what? Hmm, we don't have much collectibles here, only some ammo. I'm not sure if I really need to do anything more here. Well, I I was inside of there already. I think I fixed it. Nope. I think we have solved the issue in here at least. We cannot open this one. Okay, let's go out. <laughs> it's always creepy to go out. Oh, another weapon. Okay, let's have three of those. Can I reload it? Oh. But I have no shots left. I have 30. Oh man, I have like 40 shots totally left and then I'm screwed. Okay, guys. So let's get through here. Oh, I'm gonna use this thing. Nice. Whoa! Oh man, I'm lucky. Look at that. I have like 24 shots left. That's all I got. How am I gonna make it? Oh man, there we go. Whoa, God, I got so afraid. Okay, so where are... We need more ammo. Oh, we made it to the checkpoint at least. That's good. Let's open up this one. Oh, please. Come on. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, I need to do headshots now. Just only headshots. Because I have four shots here and two shots there. <laughs> that is so bad. And I have like four zombies. Okay, how am I gonna make it now? Whoa! Okay, four zombies and I have... Oh, 22 shots. I got some more shots now. Nice. Yeah. Whew, we made it. Awesome. <laughs> I was lucky there. I don't know how I'm supposed to, maybe I can fist them, probably I can fist them. If I remember it right, I could do that in the wave-based version of ATEC Cybernetic. 
Oh, health, nice. But we're full of health. I need ammo, that's what I need, not any health. Choice. Give me that. The problem is the choice. Uh, oh, well, not really. Only one door is open, so we must go that way. Oh, nice. Give me that. So yes, this game is quite linear so far, but I don't mind. It's nice to have that narrative voice. It just feels like I'm doing more than just shooting zombies. And if you have seen my previous videos of, uh, for example, Survive, the new first person survival shooter, also with a lot of zombies, you saw me probably whining about... Identification required. Oh. You saw me probably whining about the lack of story. Oh yes, a grenade. Oh yes. But how do I... Can I store it somewhere? I don't know. Well, probably not. That's, that's a shame. Hmm. So, give me that. I'm just gonna put it here. Oh, I probably need to go here, right? Okay. Uh oh, that was a bad decision to do. Whoa! Come on! And I'm out of ammo, guys! Okay, now it's time to fit some guys. <laughs> okay, really bad decision to not use that. Oh! Oh! Joy! You bastards! Did I die? No! Oh, man! <laughs> okay, that was so bad of me. Okay, well... Listen up, guys. Sorry, I made a mistake. And I have not many shots. And hopefully I can make it. Oh, man. Come on. Okay, I need to kill those green guys first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now I need to count my shots. Oh. <laughs> I, I like the way the door is closing by itself after a few seconds. Okay, give me ammo. Where's the ammo? There is no ammo. Why? Ah, oh, so bad. It's gonna be impossible. Oh well, okay. Uh, let's store the gun here. Uh, oh yes, we have some ammo here. And I remember we had some more choice. ammo. The problem is the choice. Uh, oh well, not really. Only one door is open, so we must go that way. All right, I know that already. Nice, more ammo. And uh, I think I'm gonna use that. Uh, where is it, by the way? Oh, what is that? What is that? Cartridges. Whoa! Machine gun ammo. Look at that. But wait a second. I want that um, grenade because I'm probably going to need it. Hmm. It's gone now. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to kill those guys with my pistol, with my limited ammo that I got. Well, I don't know. Well, come on. Let's open up the doors and see if we can make it somehow. Well, I'm crossing my fingers. And you better do as well, guys. Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa! I got some tracking issues there. Oh, man. Woo, I made it. I was lucky there. <laughs> Whoa, more of them. Nice. The teleportation ability is manifesting in some of the Whoa! subjects. Whoa! And you just killed the result of years of research. Thanks. What is happening? Whoa! No, 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 no! I don't have any weapon left. Come on, give me that. No! <laughs> oh, man, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. Give me ammo! Oh, come on, guys. So yes guys, I just kept on dying over and over again. It was quite a late night yesterday, so I just had to quit and I didn't get further than this. Sorry for that. But I still hope that this was a good teaser of ATEX Cybernetic, what the game is all about, how beautiful it actually looks and what you can expect from it, well, almost one year after release. 
Guys, I'm personally really impressed because back in 2017, in March 2017, it was just a way based shooter. It looked simple, it was quite good looking, but it was still very simple. You couldn't do much except just kill some zombies in one room. But today we have a storyline with three chapters and I'm not sure how long the chapters are, but this really feels promising. I only played it for like 25 minutes now or so, but I'm really into it now and I really look forward to play it more. And also it's quite challenging, I died a few times, you're quite limited with the ammo and well I think I have to use those melee weapons a little bit more or maybe my fists and punch the guys. Yeah I know it's not called fisting guys but I used to say that anyway I don't know why I say that but punch those guys I think that's a good option when the ammo is finished. So anyway I think it's good but it had some flaws and there are some issues still in the game. I don't know if it's because I played it on Oculus Rift because the Oculus Rift support was added long after the HTC Vive support. And first of all, I didn't have any haptic feedback while playing nor while shooting or anything grabbing stuff and so and that's what I really miss in this game. Also, the sound effects while shooting it was very very low volume and I don't know why because I heard the music, I heard the zombies really clear and loud but the shots they were so muted and maybe there is some kind of a setting for that but I just couldn't find that. Also the game is an Unreal Engine game as far as I know so if you're not using any super sampling it's gonna be a little bit blurry especially if you add that anti-aliasing. It's gonna get rid of those jagged edges but it's gonna get quite blurry at distance so you really have to add some super sampling and the, op the best options I found was actually to add some super sampling in Steam VR and also in the game so a little bit of super sampling there and a little bit of super sampling there and that's the best combination to get good and sharp picture but still maintain the performance because if you bump up the super sampling to 2.0 in game well even my GTX 1080 Ti is choking. Also just like I had some trouble in the game survive with the holstering mechanism how you holster the weapon pick them up and so I had almost the same problems in this game because you cannot feel where you're actually holstering or if you're actually holstering your weapon so it happened that I actually dropped my weapon in, in, instead of holstering it and I think there should be some kind of better me mechanism to holster those weapons maybe it's just some button to make it well more precise or I don't know maybe holster them at your back or something because holstering them down here at your hips you can actually miss a lot of those clicks and make those weapons just drop on your floor and that's quite crucial especially in action. So no I'm not gonna talk about it more now because I think I need to play it more before I make a full review of it but still I can truly recommend this game to you because I think personally it deserves more attention. There are so many first person shooters and a lot of people are still talking about Doom VFR or Dead Effect 2 VR and yes those are great games but this one one looks well maybe even better and the physics the mechanics in the weapon it just feels right it, it actually feels better than in Doom VFR so if you are into those types of games those Doom inspired games with that level design I think you're gonna enjoy it a lot so give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below guys well thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this if you think it was well fun or whatever please hit that like button as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys take care for now see you very soon again cheers